Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Technical Learning. So in this video, we will be continuing with the career guidance series. So we have been giving uh, career guidance to many of the folks out there, whether they are freshers or experienced. If you also are seeking for some kind of career guidance, then you can also reach out to us at our email address that is rdautomationlearning at the rate of gmail.com. So we have got a query from one of our subscriber. They are looking for the guidance. So we would be looking into it. And before that, if you're watching this video for the very first time, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. So the query is, uh, hello, sir. I have one year of experience in testing. I quit the company, right? I quit the company without serving notice period. Company did not provide me experience letter. Now I want to go for another company. Should I show the experience or not in resume? Whether I want to go as a fresher or experience. So fine. Okay. Please help me. Fine. So many a times what happens is uh, you are not able to adjust with the work culture or with your leads or managers in the organization right then you should not quit without serving the notice period because see as you haven't served the notice period now the documents are also not there if you would have adjusted for one or two months more based on the notice period policy that you might have in your organization then there are chances that you might would have got the experience letter and relieving letter as well now as you have already worked for one year so it's not needed to go as a fresher what you can do is looking into your situation so you have already you would have received the offer letter or joining letter and you can showcase the last three salary slips that you have received from the company in which you are working right as you might not be having experience letter because you haven't served notice period right so in your case the last three months salary slip and the joining letter would be very would play a vital role so you have to uh Take those things as a sort of evidence of your working in this particular, in the prior company. You don't need to start from scratch. You don't need to start as a fresher. You're already an experienced person. Okay. So this is one of the aspect. Second thing is the company, the new company will ask you that why you haven't received the experience letter. So over there, don't uh, tell that there was some kind of uh, um, dispute before between you and the HR of that company or between you or the managers because this will create a bad impression of yourself only in the new company. They'll feel that this person has not adjusted in the older company. So he might not adjust in our company as well, right? So don't tell those things. Just tell that uh, maybe due to the health reasons, you had to quit without serving the notice period. You were advised to do a complete bad rest from the doctor. So some things like this, right? So that's how you can uh, give the answer. That's how you can respond to the HR or the hiring manager of the new company. And definitely you should show the experience because if you will start from scratch. So imagine if you have got 20,000 per month in your first job, and now again, if you don't show the experience, you might be put back to getting 20,000 only. But if you show the experience, you might be having some 10, 20, 30% of hike in your existing salary, what you were getting. So that's what we have to do. We, we have to ensure that whenever we switch the jobs, our career has been taken to the next level. Because if you are switching and still your career is there itself, then there is no point of you working for one year. It would be a waste of time. So don't let it happen and uh, take these kind of uh, guidance from this particular video. And going forward, please ensure that you complete the notice period. Please ensure you are there in the company for end to end. Right? It should not happen that you are not serving notice period because this is one company. That's fine. It can be adjusted. It can be taken care. But if it happens in a routine, if it happens in multiple companies, then imagine the CV or imagine your career or imagine your portfolio after six to eight years. It will showcase two to three companies. So it will not give you give a good impression. Even though you will have experience, still companies will not hire you. Right. So please take care of such things in your career. 
always serve the notice period. What you can do is if uh, the notice period is too long and uh, you have already got a job in a new company, then what you can do is you can request your newer new employer to give you a buyback. So what does buyback mean? That means, let's say if in an older company, so let me explain you here. Okay, so you have one old company and this is your new company. The old company will not leave you until unless you serve two months of notice period. Your new company is looking to have you immediately. So what you can do is you can request new company right, to have a buyback offer. Okay. So what does buyback offer means? So let's say in old company, you have two months and if you are not able to serve, then old company will tell you, okay, you need to pay me some X amount of money. Okay. In new company, if they are looking for image joiners, that means they have got the business, right? They are looking for the work to be done. They already have got the work. So what you can do is, you can ask the new company to pay this money and then you can get relieved as soon as possible. So that's how you can also do. It depends on how your interview went there. Are they okay to have you in such kind of offers? And it also depends on how you are negotiating with the old company. How is your relationship with the old companies, HRs, hiring managers, your team leads, your managers, right? So such things will play a vital role during this particular things okay so this was a short video on career guidance if any of you are looking for such kind of career guidance so you can share your cv at this particular email address cv as well as your career guidance query so we will be trying to cover such kind of uh, guidances in this particular videos and we it would be kept fully anonymous it will not be revealed to anyone okay so don't worry so you can see the email that I had received has been turned into fully anonymous. No company's name, no individual's name, no new company's name, no new old company. That is just a query, right? So this kind of queries are being faced by many people out there, right? So our intention, our agenda goal is to help individuals as soon as we can so that you are able to reach out to the next level, right? So thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.